Hi guys, it is time once again to do another passive income report. I have no idea where July has gone, but it is over. We are in August now, so yeah. I do enjoy filming these, and the one thing that I will say is this is gonna be the last month that I have trading 212 shares in here because I've maxed out my limit now, although if you do use the link down below, you will still get a free share, so don't fret. But also, fingers crossed, hopefully also next month, I will be able to share some AdSense revenue with you. Fingers crossed, because I'm very near monetizing here, so it's all very exciting, and we'll see We'll see how that goes. We'll see whether I get my first paycheck in the next Passive Income Report. But anyway, let's, let's go straight into it, right? Slow-ish month for dividends at the moment. I do think, again, August hopefully will be better, but I've had three dividends. So S&P 500, S&P Div Aristocrat, both ETFs, and then Realty Income, my first dividend, although it was only for two shares because I moved them from my normal account to my ISA after my whole dividend tax stuff. So if you haven't watched that and you're interested, do go check that out. So yeah, so next month it's going to be a lot more for Realty, but here are the amounts. So I got 47p for S&P 500, 128 for S&P Div Aristocrat, and 44p for Realty. And that's for two shares. I think I own six or seven now at the moment. So the total dividends is £2.19. Going to be rich any day now. So next is two trading two and two shares. I got really lucky with my first one. These were actually on the 29th of June, but it was after I'd already filmed my previous video because I wasn't expecting anything on that last day. So now I'm filming it on the 1st of August, so I can actually say these are shares that I've gotten in July. But I got really lucky. I got an AstraZeneca share right at the end of June which was worth 85 pounds, which is amazing. And then another one for nine pounds, 25. Next, we've got a free trade share of £4.96. And then for the next few, because I got quite a few free shares from both free trade and trading 212, I've just lumped them together to make it easier to watch. I don't wanna keep going and another share for this much and another share for this much. So basically for each of the weeks that I got the free shares, I've just lumped them together and added up the total. So on the 2nd of July, I got, a, I got six shares on trading 212, which was, a good day and they totaled 57 pounds and 22 pence now on the 8th of july i got also six free trade shares and they were worth 26 pounds 29 7th july was etsy and it was 115 so i've actually loaded the dividends one for those of you asking because i was getting so many requests to put this on my etsy but all the sales here are just from the budgeting spreadsheet so you can check out my etsy down below i think it's listed for two pound 15 but i actually after all the etsy fees come off i only get one pound 15 from each sale they have pretty hefty fees next were two trading two and two shares on the same day so that was nine pound 48 and 870 then on the 15th of july i got a bunch of free trade shares again so six shares that day as well and that came up to 32 pound and 61p next was etsy again i made two more sales so that's another two pound 30. can't forget the bank interest from my bank hack so this month i got a little bit more than usual so it was one pound 50 for the bank interest and then another eight free trade shares worth 40 pounds and 91 pence so it was a really good month for free trade i'm not sure what's changed from the previous months but yeah it's it's been a good month and i think part of it was probably the tesla competition thing which finished yesterday so you know fingers crossed and then on this side i again it's highlighted in yellow because that's not money that's hitting my bank account this month but I made another three pound and two pence from my Amazon affiliate links, which are again down in the description below. It's mostly just from recommending books to people. So there are some financial books that I highly recommend, especially one um, which I highlight in the description below. So that's basically from people um, buying using my referral link. Just so you know, with Amazon affiliates, it's not a hugely great affiliate program for those of you who want to make some passive income, purely because if someone doesn't check out within 24 hours, of 
clicking on your link, you no longer get that commission. So if someone clicks on it and then says like, oh, I'll check out like on page eight or something, you actually don't get that commission at all, which is a bit rubbish as most other affiliate programs have longer time frames but it's still something it's still a little bit of extra cash so in terms of the fully passive amount from there it was 282 pounds and 74 pence which is just insane um i mean clearly that 85 pound astrazeneca share helped a lot but it's still just yeah i'm just so amazed and then again people have asked me previously to include like the sainsbury's points which makes complete sense because that is fully passive. All I'm doing is using my Amex card to shop in Sainsbury's. So this month in Sainsbury's points, I've actually earned £40.24. So this is actually higher than usual month purely because I purchased a new MacBook Pro and I did it on my Amex card. So I got, I think, £25 worth of points extra for that, if I'm not mistaken, something around that anyway. Um, but yeah, the MacBook Pro is like two and a half thousand pounds. So it is a big purchase. Like I wouldn't be normally spending that much money in one month, but still every little helps, like I said. And then this is a random one, but HSBC had an offer where if you sign up to their mobile banking app, they were gonna give you 10 pounds. So I downloaded the app, I signed up for mobile banking and got 10 pounds so that was a fairly easy 10 pounds and it's actually pretty cool because i always had to log in on my computer using like a key and stuff but now i've got it all on my phone which makes it a lot easier there's no app money today um i've built up quite a bit of money on it but i've not had much time to spend on those apps so hopefully next month that should should come out but at the moment nothing like that so although this is sitting in the semi-passive category clearly this is completely fully passive anyway so in total through that I made £332.98, which means in total of passive income this month, I've made £335. So if you've watched my previous passive income reports, you will see it's been increasing from every single report. So in the first one, it was like a three month report. And then the second one, I doubled that. And now I've basically more than doubled it again, which is very exciting. And clearly the trading 212 shares have helped. So it'll be really interesting to see what the passive income looks like next month. Um, so, you know, if you're enjoying these and you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. But just as a final side, um, where I've done this before, I like to compare trading two on two and free trade for free shares so for the last time i made 151 and 78 from the trading two and two shares and 108 61 from the free trade shares so not too much of a difference this time but clearly that trading two and two share again makes up a lot of that money that's the kind of completely passive income and then on top of that i managed to actually sell i had like a uv nail lamp that i used to use to like do gel nails myself all the time and i've just gone off doing that it was really damaging my nails and it was taking so much time that i now use up for things like side hustling so i just listed it on facebook marketplace and i sold it so i got 15 pounds for that um, on top of this so it's been a good month hopefully this has been good i've sacrificed the extra watch time to make it easier for you guys to watch by combining the shares into one line when it's just multiple shares in a day i know that these videos tend to be really popular so thank you so much for your support so yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for your support once again and i'll see you in the next video bye